Hi, uh, we will now talk about basic shapes. Um, most of them you already know it's uh, from previous videos, but uh, we haven't talked about them specifically, so this is going to be the first one. Um, we will first talk about declaration. The De uh, declare statement is used to create variables in arrays. It says here on Flowboard's documentation page. These are used to store data while the program is running. You can declare multiple variables by separating the names with commas. So there's a shortcut here. Uh, more than one variables are possible to declare at the same time. But what's not written here, they need to be in the same time. Okay, and the other one is outputs. It is simply displays a message on the screen displays the result on the screen it says it can also evaluate uh, expressions we haven't done that yet before previously because we were using assignments you could use either assignments or uh, expressions in the output statement we're gonna see both of them and the last one is the input and the input statement is re uh, reading used to read the uh, values from the keyboard and stores uh, them into a variable. So it's a requirement for input, uh, as it's seen here, to declare the variable before, in other words, create the variable before you use it in the, in the input statement. So for that, uh, those three shapes, we're going to use a simple application. Okay. We're going to design and implement a simple input output application. We have done several uh, similar uh, applications previously, but this is going to put all of them together. So first we're going to ask the user to enter the first name and save it to a variable first name. And ask for the last name, save it to the last name variable. And the street address goes into the street address variable. And the city goes into the city variable. State. Okay, uh, missing a step here. S save it to state variable and then zip code. Okay, and then uh, save it to the zip code variable and finally print everything on the screen. So let's do that. Okay, I'm not going to put those in comments and I will just create the first variable declaration for the first name and the type of it every time you declare something a new variable you're gonna need to choose the type of it right so the first name is a string and remember uh, from the previous videos if you're using a, a identifier or a variable the, it, it should start with small letters click OK and then we're gonna ask user to enter the first name and it will be what is your name okay a simple question and then after that we're gonna do the same for the last name okay uh, well actually you need, yeah I need to be specific here first name right and then uh, read it from the keyboard and save it to the first name uh, variable okay so these three elements these three sh shapes will do the work first create the first name variable so that I can use it in the input statement or input shape and also uh, outputs uh, the information tell what to do to the user so after that we're gonna do the same for the last name declare last name okay and the data type for it is string so here's the trick we can actually use since we're gonna do several declarations and most of them are gonna be strings okay we can actually modify this to put everything first name last name street address city state 
that's it the zip code is gonna be an integer value okay and then here I can actually additionally add my zip code as an integer value so now all I have to do since everything is declared previously I can just output and input directly right the second one what is your last name all right and then immediately after asking telling the user what to do read it from the keyboard and I know it I'm gonna use last name variable for that and then ask for the street address tell the user to enter what is your street address okay and then enter that read it from the keyboard into street address be careful you're using the same exact way when you you were creating the uh, variables street with capital a address okay don't do any make uh, typo mistakes try not to and after the street address i'm going to ask for the city which city you live in and then read it from the keyboard and write it into the variable called city and finally I'm gonna ask for the state which state you live in okay and then read it from the keyboard and save it into the variable states okay as you see asking the question and then right after the question uh, reading the value from the keyboard by uh, by saving it into a variable will make the application remember the values we need to do that first input statement input box shape will uh, it requires to use a variable because when you click on an input shape box it says enter a variable name below you have to have a variable to create the variable we use declaration uh, box okay and then since the application will remember the value we can print out it okay but I'm gonna do the, the last one, the integer zip code. Uh, I will ask for it. What is your, what is your five digit zip code? Okay, to make sure five digits, right? Five digit zip code, not the other long version. Okay, and save it into the zip code variable remember that we created the zip code variable with the capital C and it is saved now I got everything all I had to do print out all this stuff all these values on the screen since everything is saved using input shape it should be easy the computer will remember them okay so first name um, let's do this last name and a comma and a space and first name it's like printing out a label right we're gonna print that first and then we're gonna print street address okay and a comma a space and after the street address what do we do in general we put the state right state and then comma space and then zip code with a capital C okay so the street address a comma state a comma and the zip code okay that will be it so what do we have city state zip code street address and first name and last name okay 
Let's try. Give it a try. How it's gonna work. Alright. What is your first name? John. Last name. Brown. What is your street address? 456 South Street. Okay. What city do you live in? Um, Brooklyn. Which state you live in? Obviously New York. And what is the five digit zip code? One, three, three, two, three, and four, five. Voila. Brown John, 456 South Street, New York, 23432. So, in this example, we used three shapes. The first one, declaration, to create the variables with a certain data type. And the second one was an output shape to print messages on the screen for user. And the last one was the input shape to read from the keyboard and save the value read from the keyboard into a variable. Alright, please let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching.